Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. It's the final night of first round action for the boys 15th region tournament from the East Kentucky Expo Center where two spots remain for the teams to advance to the semifinals. The 58th district champions South Floyd suited up to take on 57th district runner up McGoffin County. These two teams have met twice this year going one and one. It's up in the air who will take the series. Jumping to the second quarter just before the buzzer, J.R. Tackett kicks it back to Kyle Isaac, who sinks the three-pointer before heading to the locker room, giving the Raiders a push into the second half. Coming out strong, Raiders look to score inside as Brady Conn catches it on the block, draws the foul, and finishes for the and one. The Hornets now looking to answer back on offense as Trent Russell goes inside. He gets the ball up, misses, grabs his own rebound, back up, count the basket. Moving to the fourth quarter now, Raiders down by two with just 55 seconds to go. J.R. Tackett with the ball. He comes off the screen, pulls up, and sinks the jump shot. McGoffin County now looking to answer. Not much time on the clock. Trenton Russell splits the double team and finishes with the floater. Hornets with the lead right now. And, but again, Trenton Russell showing off his skills. This time, he steps through three defenders and hits another floater but the Raiders would not give in, and it wouldn't take long for them to answer back as Tackett finds Kyle Azick in the corner to knock down the big three-pointer to go into overtime. Fast-forwarding to two minutes left in overtime, the Raiders threatening again on offense, and J.R. Tackett finds Shane Kidd in the same corner, and he drains another three-point shot to give them a two-point lead in overtime. The Raiders survive a nail-biter and pull out the win with just 21 seconds left on the clock thanks to two final free throws from J.R. Tackett. Final score as they keep their region championship hopes alive. South Floyd in a thriller, 74-70 over McGoffin County. In game two tonight, it was a Pike County showdown in the Expo Center as runner-up of the 60th District Belfry suited up to take on 59th District Champions Pikeville. Getting right to the action, Pikeville's Wyatt Battle wasting no time finding the rim for the basket. Starting off a bit of a trend here for the Pikeville Panthers, Kyle Watkins takes his shot inside the lane. Double teamed, he still makes it and he draws the foul. Panthers go on an early 7-0 run on the Pirates. Cade Byers assisting in that lead as he goes up and in for the Panthers. As they find their groove, Belfry still looking to score. Colston Blakenship goes up, misses, gets his own rebound, tries again, and the Pirates are now on the board. Panthers continue their stride though. Wyatt Battle once more keeps it himself for the jumper. And then to wrap up the first quarter, just before the buzzer rang from the right pocket, Kyle Watkins sinks the three-pointer and the Panthers hold a 11-point lead heading into the second quarter. Now this was the tail of two quarters from the Expo tonight. Pikeville losing a bit of their swing of offense and a tough though. Austin Woolen, nowhere to go inside, takes it himself from the top of the key. But Connor Roberts for Pikeville had an answer from the left wing, and it was little mistakes that ate away at both teams. Wyatt Battle driving the no-look pass finds Belfry's Austin Woolham, and that turnover will turn into a Belfry basket for Cameron Catron. Panthers continuing to be successful from the, beyond the arc. Once more, just before the half, Kyle Watkins knocks one in. Final score from the Expo, Pikeville advances to play South Floyd as they defeat Belfry 72-62.